Hey guys, back playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney! And since last time, I think I was getting so annoyed by this person, April, my gosh. And I actually played through it again and tried to get as far as before. I played it, but I got so frustrated during the actual gameplay that I was silent the whole time. You could just feel the anger from me. It was very frightening. Mona Lisa, my dog, was scared. She ran to the different room. She put on a little helmet. But sadly, I had to look up how to do this part. And turns out, guess what? Look at this. I had to present this during this stupid presentation. I think last time I presented this, but not during this same time, so it does matter when you present the evidence. So, yeah, gosh damn it. Let's present it. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Lawyer. You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock, but there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Er, another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too, and he was found guilty of murder. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, erp. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Why would I? But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murders with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Whew. That was a close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... That's because I heard it. Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law office of Fade and Company. No, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard from a hotel room, hee <laughs> hee. The law offices of Fane Company, where the murder took place, are very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Hell no, I ain't. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. It couldn't have wrong. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. Um, it's empty. The clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly... Just have a look, as soon as you can. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Oh shiz! Turn your point, son! Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. Ah, uh, and your titties are fat and you lying too, girl. Ah, okay. Well, Miss May. Ah, oh, this guy again. Tis, tis. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. If there was... Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that's exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? I can! I have the cell phone! Ah, I gotta get you! Oh, <laughs> impossible, of course! I have proof! What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is... Right here. Present. Ooh! Mm, take a look at this! Hmm? That's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, ooh, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, this is, this is not my phone. Listen, this is a defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. The recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. 
Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Look how menacing he looks. He looks crazy now. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Ugh. Good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth, not. <laughs> oh, shiz. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you, then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clock out, sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. Your Honor, I think this recording makes it clear that the clock was already gone. And this was recorded in the morning, before the witness even arrived at the hotel. Uh, oh yeah, take that big tits. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to me, the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot, wink. So the witness had seen it before, that would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? I do! Larry made it! Yes, I do! Larry Butts made it, my friend! The witness claims that she has seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence the witness proved the witness had not seen the clock before. Thinker. Yes, it's made by Larry Butts. Present. <laughs> it's simple. This clock was never in any store. Never. What? A friend of mine made the clock. Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here is in the police custody. Possible! Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oof. Oh, excuse... Oh? Excuse is not on sale today? Oh, 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 oof. She's flipping... There... Is her heart really going crazy? Her, she's jiggling, and she looks absolutely terrifying. And now it's a boss battle? <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Oh my gosh. It's like a boss battle. She just transformed into a beast mode. Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> this is a court of law. The witness will remain calm. <laughs> Oh, 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 silly me, grunt. Did I, um, like, win beast mode and lose it? Yeah, you did kind of win beast mode, and now your tits are doing it. I guess I did, tee hee, wink. Scary. <laughs> Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, look at her. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defensive have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You held it. She didn't held it, but she had. you had heard about it. The witness had never held a clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known to think it was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Okay, it's not this, not this, not this, not this, not this. Maybe this, actually. But I think it's this. Wiretap. Please be right, otherwise I just messed up my f flow. Had heard the murder. It has to be this. Present. Have a look at this. Ah, ooh. That? Eh. I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss May of Faye's phone, were you not? Oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... I don't think I even know what this is, is actually. Um, the 
just check this out. Proof that the victim said the quote. Well, oh yeah, present, yeah. The cell phone, huh? I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen one more time for the conversation between the defendant and the victim. What's up? You haven't caught in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. It's April, May. You use a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Objection! This guy, Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May. Shut up, all of you. What is it alright to talk to me like this, amigo? You can lawyer. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, it's no fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl? Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, a lash, <laughs> That did it. The court seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal with the final blow. Why the wiretap? She didn't do it. Like, as in, she didn't kill. You did it, didn't you? Wait, when they say you did it, didn't you? Do they mean kill her? Or wiretap? Oh man, this is the... Ambiguity. Why the wiretap? Because I can't answer. Why, why did you tap the phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippity tapping her irrelevant? Gosh, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While the court does not condone the defense tone of the speech, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with the murder, even though you tapped her phone? Huh, I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> well, you're not the first man who's thought that, and of course, I can and I will. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> Okay, so the killing happened around 9 o'clock that night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from the sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask a bellboy. Wink. My stomach literally hurts from this. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Wait, if she wasn't at the scene of the murder, then she's, she lied the whole time. That's what matters, so where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands, she saw defended Maya Faye commit murder. No, if she wasn't there, what? Did I miss something? No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Continue examine Miss May. Let's call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to bet, get to the bottom of it. I think he's sunken quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling the witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you're examining the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss May, Maya Faye. That is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, my would be declared guilty on the spot. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this real quick. Almost seriously, almost out of time. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time. Mm -hmm.